One of the most common questions I get on my speed ramping tutorials in Adobe Premiere Pro is how do you get the audio to match up after you speed ramp the video? My name is Justin Odisho, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a simple trick on how to do that. So you see here, we have a speed ramped video clip. If you wanna see full tutorials on that, I have that on my channel. But essentially, we have right clicked, show clip keyframes, open the time remapping speed keyframes, and then on this line here, by using the command key, I can add points on the line. And then just by dragging the, the line, I can drag it down to lower the percentage to something like 50% speed. However, whenever you adjust the speed of the clip, the duration of the clip changes because 50% speed is going to take twice as long to play. However, the audio stays the same. It does not get speed ramped with the video in Premiere Pro. Now, this is something that if you were to export the clips to Adobe After Effects or Adobe Audition, you can do those in those programs. But inside Premiere Pro, if you're just working here, you can't necessarily speed ramp the audio. But a simple trick that you can do is just cut the audio clip and then adjust the speed of it. Keeping in mind the frame rates of your video clips and whatnot, if you want smooth slow motion, you want to shoot in higher frames per second. And I have tutorials about slow motion and frame rates as well on my channel. But if you just press C, that'll grab your razor tool. You can cut the audio clip where the slow motion speed ramp begins. So right around here is where we began to speed ramp. And then just with a little bit of mental math and estimation, we can assume that we want to slow down like this much amount of audio. And since we slowed it down 50%, we'll cut about this half here i'll move the rest of the audio back to where it should be and then i'll just grab my rate stretch tool by pressing r and i'll stretch that out to fill in this gap that we created so if you want to be really precise and do more mental math and estimation you can do that as well but this is the general idea we've cut out a section and slowed that appropriately to match the speed ramp sections and then if you want to even smooth it out a little bit more you can just make sure your selection tool is active and right click apply default transition onto these audio clips so it'll kind of cross dissolve from the normal pitch to the slow motion pitch and then if i play this back now you'll see we have the normal skateboarding sound and then we've slowed down here and then we've picked back up you kind of notice those changes in pitch if you enjoyed this video, my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out hundreds of more free tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.